good news. All right, that is the word of engineers. Now, in a move aimed at bolstering the Kenya United Kingdom relationship, Anglia Ruskin University recently hosted an event in Kenya to commemorate the University of the Year Award alongside esteemed African student recruitment partners. During the event, the Ruskin University's Vice Chancellor, Roderick Watkins, emphasized the imperative of recognizing the transforma uh, transformative power of innovative, inclusive, and entrepreneurial uh, education and research for both nations. He highlighted the significant growth in the number of Kenyan students pursuing education in the United Kingdom, indicating a growing appetite for knowledge and opportunity. Watkins further expressed commitments to fostering international, internationally and culturally diverse campuses. African students make a really significant contribution to the culture and the life at Anglia Ruskin. They really help us achieve that diversity that we're looking for. But Kenya is a, is a wonderful base to hold the conference and we have delegates from uh, lots of other countries right across the continent here. Uh, and as I say, we have a, a particular uh, warm uh, relationship with Kenya and with our partners uh, in this country. So at the moment, our partnerships in, uh, in Kenya and in Africa are mainly with student recruitment agents. But we do also have some research partnerships with universities across the continent of Africa. Uh, and we're always looking to develop further partnerships, including exchange partnerships, uh, and indeed some dual awards where we offer degrees, a UK award as well as a, a, a Kenyan university award. So working in partnership is a, is a key part of our strategy for developing our links with Kenya. And we have seen other UK universities partnering with the uh, universities here in Kenya. Like for instance, the, U, the Oxford University has partnered with USIU, whereby they're offering courses under their exchange program. So a Kenyan can study in Oxford through USIU, and you don't have to literally go to UK. Because we know the bottlenecks that we face in the embassy, whereby you are required to have four to five months uh, bank statement, and a certain figure has been put in place. A young Kenyan coming from a village here can, is not able to access that visa because of those bottlenecks. So uh, the same thing that we have told ARU, to look for local universities here, they can partner with Kenyatta University, Nairobi University, and have that exchange program whereby I, Kevin Kerry, can study in ARU, and I don't have to go to Peter, Petersburg in London for me to get to exercise that uh, academics. Sometimes, if, for example, if a student do law in a country that is not um, that is not um, um, accepted, maybe in the law uh, society in Kenya, then it means that whatever they've done is in vain. You know, so I think the, there must be some policy put in, in, in place where maybe a, con, um, a link inside the government website for education or whatever institution where they can even say this, uh, if it is a course that is accredited, this particular accreditation from these countries are accepted in Kenya. So that they don't just do something, then when they come, if they want to get accreditation, they can't get it in Kenya because they don't recognize it. Over the years, African students, uh, particularly from Ghana, Nigeria, Kenya, um, South Africa, Zimbabwe, have contributed massively to student development, um, research, in the UK, particularly as Anglia Raskin, I mean, some of our alumni are now in various sectors contributing massively and doing amazing things with their various universities. Um, therefore, it gives us great pleasure and great honor to come and celebrate with our partners, with our colleagues, and as well with the community back home. So you